Are we gonna sit? Good girl, stay. Mike Lamb knows a thing or two about keeping stay. canines well behaved. Good stay. Good stay. Oh, guys. Tell He's me. taken care of hundreds of pooches since joining Dog Vacay. One of a number of popular new sites like Rover and Fetch that pairs dog owners with dog sitters. All right, come on, guys. Mike comes from the dog eat dog world of Goldman Sachs, where he was once a computer programmer. Go say hi. Good girl. He's now making just as much money looking after man's best friend. Leaving Goldman Sachs to do this job, <laughs> I mean, it's actually hard to believe. I know, I know. Goldman Sachs, you know, it's, it's, it's the cream of the crop. Um, everyone wants to be in there, but, you know, at the end of the day, if you're not happy doing what, you, you know, what, you know, what you're doing, it's just not worth it. His screen name on Dog Vacay is Pack Leader Mike. It's almost like online dating. You have to have the great picture, the great picture with the dog. Exactly. He's in competition with other New York-based dog sitters on the site, like Auntie Colleen, the West Village Pup Palace, and Rover's Retreat. Like other companies in the sharing economy, Dog Vacay gives humans a brand new outlet for making good money on their own terms. Retirees, stay-at-home moms and dads, you've got freelancers people who are doing this for fun and income on the side. And what we've seen is it's really changed their lives. If websites like Dog Vacay continue to grow in popularity, they could take a bite out of more traditional businesses like Biscuits and Bath. They build themselves as a luxury dog retreat. Biscuits and Bath offers boarding, <laughs> state-of-the-art pampering, and talk about social media, this place lets dogs catch up on their current events snout to snout. Businesses like this are watching the online dog sitting craze closely. How do you kind of view them business wise? I think there's an element of competition there. Dog Vacay is clearly setting its sights on the sector. The average price is under $30 a night, which makes us about um, a little less than half of the average kennel. Back in Queens with Mike Lamb, it's time for the afternoon walk. Can you look back at your time on Goldman Sachs? You regret leaving? Not at all. This is what you love. That's right. Still, the fur could fly if competition heats up. For the disruptor economy, this is one tale that's far from over. Samuel Burke, CNN, New York. Yeah. <laughs>